All right, time to pass the Corvassier. This is the VS, and it's a good time to take a look at this brand because it was just recently acquired by Campari from Beam Suntory, who owned it, uh, which I think is really interesting because to me, Corvassier has always had a very um, distinct orange note to the flavor profile, um, and Campari owns Grand Marnier. So um, we can bring those two together now. Uh, Corvassier, very approachable, very soft, very fruity. Definitely has that orange note, that, that kind of a citrus peel uh, when you kind of put a citrus peel over a drink. Very reminiscent of that. Very soft, very fruity, very approachable. Let's take a sip. Mm. Fantastic. That orange fruit is right up front. The sweetness is there, but it's not out of balance. Um, the oak, just a touch of oak, just a touch of light leather. It's not very heavy. Again, um, this is the fourth uh, of the big houses. It's the smallest of the big houses. Um, it's got the lowest amount of sales, but I think that's just because the people have kind of overlooked it. It hasn't quite hit its marketing stride, but I think with Campari, they've got a good shot because the juice is delicious. Cheers.